Hello, I'm Joanne with ACD Discount, and today I'm here with Jesse, chef and owner of Pub 10 and 10 Bistro. So, chef, tell us a little bit about your expertise and what people should know about chafing dishes. Uh, in this restaurant, we use chafing dishes on uh, a Sunday brunch buffet and uh, anytime we do a nice catering. And so what's important is uh, quality of the chafing dish itself, the, f the hand feel uh, for guests if they're opening and closing. You know, it's gotta be a good looking piece. And um, for the most part, you have to have a chafing dish that fits the size of the area that you're gonna use. So if you're in a standard uh, bar, sort of like the one behind me, your rectangle pieces, um, are going to be important and the rectangle pieces are the ones that are standard across the industry so you buy the chafing dish and you can use hotel pans to set in there. Hotel pans are rectangular stainless steel pans used to cook, store, and serve food and are designed to fit in steam tables, racks, and chafers. The standard full-size hotel pan measures 12 by 20 inches with a typical standard depth of 2 inches, 4 inches, or 6 inches, though there are variations in the industry. If you're working with a smaller space, you might want to get some round ones, and there's some here that are really nice that you can look at. And with the smaller chafing dishes that are round, if you're not moving a lot of volume of food, you can put a smaller quantity of food and the quality will maintain over time. Sterno and fuel, there's a couple different kinds you can get. The term sterno is often used to refer to any of the many different brands of flammable hydrocarbon jelly supplied in cans to be used as fuel for cooking stoves and chafing dishes. They typically come in two, four, and six hour burn time. They contain either a solid gel fuel or a liquid utilizing a wick. The wick style can be refilled for multiple uses. In some locations, municipal and fire marshal regulations may not allow for open flame in public spaces due to fire hazard. Fortunately, there are some excellent electric warming options for these locations. You will need to confirm that you have sufficient access to electrical outlets to set up your buffet line. There's different kinds of heating for chafing dishes. For example, this one over here is a heater that uh, comes in direct contact with the actual bottom of the hotel pan. No time limits on how long you go, go with something like this. And there's also a electric heater over here that um, electrically heats the water and very even heating throughout the process. It's important to start with warm pans of food when placing them in the chafing dishes. They are not meant to reach appropriate cooking temperatures and it takes a long time for cold food to heat up to serving temperatures in a chafing dish. When using water baths, first allow the water to heat before placing the food pan to maintain proper serving temperatures. And here we have an induction ready pan with the induction burner. Um, and the great thing about this is that it actually has a silencer on it. So you could literally let this go and it wouldn't slam down like traditional uh, chafing units would do. So it's a really great unit and it does have to have a certain amount of iron in it to work for induction, but it's a great tool for a buffet line. So Jackie, talk to us a little bit about the importance of choosing the right utensils for a buffet line. I think the most important thing is that you don't cheap out and you get good quality utensils, spoons and tongs um, so that your guests have a good hand feel. And you know what, um, AC Discount has a, a nice variety and this one in particular uh, is one that could be designed for senior citizens that, that have a hard time grasping um, and they can grab it real nicely because of the contour and shape of the actual ladle. They're stainless steel, they're good quality. Um, there are some that don't radiate any heat at all that you can get and you've got to get a nice pair of tongs that um, is easy to, um, to grasp, that isn't too firm, and that once again has a nice feel to it. For more information about chafing dishes, visit acitydiscount.com slash chafers.